we are on location again. Guess what? Today, Valley Spotlight comes to you from Jacked Steakhouse here in beautiful downtown Warren. Mike's already been working hard, and he has uh, put some food together for us, and I would like to introduce you to the owner. This is Angela Price, who has had this restaurant for how long? How long has it been in existence, Angela? We opened uh, August 7th of 2019. And when did you decide, hey, let's do a restaurant? Um, 20 years ago. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so you've always kind of had in the back of your mind, right? Yes, it was always something that uh, I wanted to do, um, and the timing was right. And uh, we decided to take advantage of this beautiful building when the opportunity arose. Let's ask you about the building a little bit. The front part is like a studio from an old radio station, right? It is. Um, very historical building. Uh, the front area, which is also used for private uh, dining for parties, you know, up to 16, uh -huh. um, was a radio station. He did all of his broadcasting where people would walk by the street and you could hear it on a daily basis. So very unique building. Yeah, really cool. All right. Tell me about what you did. You always want to do like a steak restaurant, or were you just kind of sure you wanted to do a restaurant? And you weren't sure, sure after that. I would say my first dream was just a restaurant, uh -huh. and then the last uh, couple years before we did it, um, it was a steak restaurant. I wanted to do something, you know, with an American flair, you know, a staple in menus everywhere, mm -hmm. and offer a great hand cut steak. And what's different about this area? We're good on the Italian food. Yes. We don't, but we don't have a ton of steak places. Did you notice that too, or is it yes, just me? Yes, yes. I mean, me and my husband, uh, we love a great steak, and we travel all over, you know, Northeast Ohio just to try different steaks and brands and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I felt that, you know, this area right here in Trumbull County could use a local, you know, owned and ran Good old house. fashioned mm -hmm. steakhouse, right? Yes. And, and you put some stuff together. Mike, the, um, the chef, made some things for us uh, early today. This is one of your signature mm -hmm. steaks, right? This is a hand cut 16 ounce ribeye mm -hmm. uh, paired with a baked potato. Um, great flavor. We suggest, you know, the perfect temperatures, medium rare. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Very good. This one, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better. It's one of your burgers, right? Yes. All of our burgers are steak burgers. Um, they are a blend of filet, ribeye, and strip. Oh, no kidding. Um, yes. So, in that one, it's a Hawaiian burger, a grilled pineapple, marmalade onions on a brochet bun uh, with barbecue sauce. It's really, really, really good. I didn't realize you had seafood dishes here. Yes, we have several seafood food dishes. That one uh, there is the shrimp etouffee. Mm -hmm. It is a, it's a southern flair. It's got a little bit of spice to it, but not overpowering. A uh, very, very delicious meal. And finally, this is impressive. Yes. Uh, our Tuscan lamb rack. Yeah. I will have to say from customers' reviews and feedback that I get, they say that that is the best lamb that they get anywhere. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Well, thanks for having us this afternoon. You're very welcome. And we'll check it check back in with you in a little bit. First, we want to kick things off, though, with a story about a little girl from Austintown who's really making a difference. You wouldn't think just drawing would be so important, but it really is. This is a Starry Night picture requested by my uh, teacher, Mr. Rhodes. Mm-hmm. You like that one? Yeah. Meet nine-year-old Addie Price. She loves to draw and paint, and even has her own Facebook page called Happy Accidents by Addie. It's encouraged by, like, Bob Ross's famous quote, it's never a mistake, it's a happy accident. Me and my friends made these. Mm -hmm. We put, like, splats of paint on the canvases. Uh -huh. And it made, like, a pretty cool picture. My first painting for my art stand was actually a copy of one of Bob Ross's uh, pictures. Yes, you heard that right. Addie has an art stand at her house on South Edge Hill Avenue in Austintown. And you can find her here in the front yard selling her pieces for a dollar each. Or sometimes a little bit more. They usually like drive and stop mm -hmm. and like tell tell me what they which picture they want mm -hmm. and like they just buy it. Here, I'll give you five for that one. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. Keep doing it. Okay. I get this early and then it'll be worth a bunch in ten years. <laughs> Maybe. There you go. Wow. That was cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but Addie doesn't keep the money. She donates it every penny i think i was like seven when i started okay and i really 
I got started into charity mm -hmm. because I had all this money from selling my art uh -huh. and my mom was like, well, you should donate. And I thought that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I just started donating. She did small donations here and there to veterans at Walmart, things mm -hmm. like that. The first big one was last year, um, her teacher, Mrs. Havich. Um, she had, she was trying to, to put, um, more books in the classroom that had minorities as the main character. So she came out here and got to work um, and we ended up, we raised enough money for all of the books. We cleared out her whole wish list um, and then just moved on from there. What are the teachers? Um, she was shocked. <laughs> I think we were all shocked at first, but yeah. yeah, she was really excited about it. I bought lunch for the police officers one day. Uh -huh. I donated to my uh, second grade teachers. Mm -hmm. And this year, I'm uh, donating to my um, my teachers. I'm really amazed, especially, like I said, I told her originally, you know, donate part of it and you could keep a little bit, you know, because she's putting in all the work and she's not interested. Every single penny she's giving away. Um, I think we were down last year, the end of the summer, we were down to a couple dollars um, and she was out here buying ice cream for the kids in the neighborhood when the truck came. Um, at softball, she was buying random kids ice cream or snow cones or whatever. Wherever she could give her money to people, that's what she's trying to do. So here she sits, drawing, coloring, and painting whatever comes to mind. I really like to paint like very colorful things like, like um, the Easter thing and the beach. Uh -huh. I really like to do colorful pictures. Mm -hmm. And the people keep coming and buying it up. This latest effort is for her teacher at Austin Town Intermediate School. My teacher, Ms. Rudd, needs some new books. And Ms. my teacher, um, Ms. Volichko, needs some um, math stuff. So they made some wish, wish, <laughs> wish okay. lists on um, Amazon. Uh -huh. So we can buy stuff for them. We've gotten eight well, last count, eight books so far purchased for her teacher this year. She just really started this week, um, so that's pretty good for a couple of days. What's great is this just isn't a one-time thing. It looks like it's a trait that can last a lifetime. I, I try to instill in both of my kids that whatever you give, you need to, or whatever you get, you need to give. Mm -hmm. um, usually that will come back twofold, and then you give more. Um, so whatever you get in life, you need to make sure you're giving it out and doing the right thing. And when a little birdie, okay, her mom, told Addie that I love sports, she even did a picture for me. And this one that you requested was a football practice. All right, tell me what's happening. So she's running in between the cones, uh -huh. like usually football practices do that. Uh -huh. And then he's shouting go low because the ball's super high. It's about to go somewhere. So she's running to try to catch the ball. Addie likes sports too. She's a pitcher on her softball team. And she's already thinking about what she wants to do in the future. I was thinking like a doctor mm -hmm. or a cartoonist. Well, how are you gonna decide? That's two totally different things. I know. I really wanna help people, but I really wanna do a career of art too. Yeah. And here's the picture in real life. I have this up in my office. I think she's a wonderful little girl. If you'd like to know more, more about her, go to Facebook, Happy Accidents by Addie, or just stop by their place on South Edge Hill, and she's probably out there today. All right, when we come back, Lauren and Mark on the other side, we check in on Pesto's Test Kitchen and get a look at some awesome spring and summer salads. Not all hormone therapies are created equal. At RC Compounding, their pharmacists create therapies just for you. I have suggested this to so many women because they don't want to take hormones. They can't afford the hormones. And I said, you should try to do the bioidentical hormones. I said, I'm living proof. I'm going to be 73 years old and I haven't felt better. Call RC Compounding, your personal team of local pharmacists. Be sure to join us on Saturday, May 22nd at the Robbins Theater for Stories from the Corner, a night with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Ray will be sharing many of his boxing memories, Hollywood tales, and so much more. For tickets, visit robbinstheater.com. Stories from the Corner, a night with Ray Boom Boom Mancini, only at the Robbins Theater in downtown Warren.
fun. That is what we do, right, Mark? It is. It is. We don't work. We just have fun and cook food and, and make great TV. Thanks We're to trying. you. And you. Well, and everybody in the valley that helps us out with this little thing that we do here in the test kitchen. We've had so much fun over the past few years. We have. And we're always looking forward to a new season. And we are. Especially when it brings some color and some freshness and... My Aren't gosh, you ready like, for the green to come back into I our am. valley? Sabina I mean, actually says that when she's driving. She says bring the green mm -hmm. back because Just, I am ready for the spring colors, the smells, the smell in the air, the rain, all that stuff. Like, it's new life. I spring agree. is new life. So we're doing three great salads today. We're not going to make the, all the salads, but we're doing three great dressings. We're going to teach you how to make a cream-based dressing. We're going to teach you how to make a vinaigrette. And we're going to teach you how to make a low-fat dressing. And we're going to use xanthan gum. We're going to use vegetable stock to replace three-fourths of the olive oil. I have to say, all of your dressing, dressing making over the years has like given me a new ability to look at my condiments and be like, hold on a minute. What are we going to pull up? Exactly. And like, what are we going to make different? Yeah. And like that's just one great piece of lettuce, like bed of lettuce, and then you can like change it as, yeah. as you go along. But yeah, anyway, and we have some great lettuces. Like, Green City Growers up in Cleveland, Ohio, right. they've done a great job up there. You know, and our, our generous uh, vendor, Hillcrest Foods, gave us a great basket of beautiful salad greens because all of the greens come in living. And I really like that about the greens. They still, because they're, they're grown on aquaponds. Right. So they still have all the all the, the stems and everything on them. You have to clean them. Just just a little bit, but it's just beautiful, fresh, crisp, vibrant lettuce. All right, so start out with, we're gonna do a, uh, a bit of a cleanse that's a, yeah. a, a drink, and I love this. I think this yeah. is great. Because you know, you know what, it's a great way it. to get your day started. You know, it's an easy thing to do for you and the family. You can change it up. Okay. Right now, we're gonna do a ginger, citrus um, detox. Okay, we're coming off winter. We're feeling maybe like Let's we should good. get healthy again. I'm trying to get minute. healthy again. So we're just gonna do some simple stuff here. We have some orange lemons and limes and some fresh mint and some fresh ginger. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna add some fresh mint and you can add whatever herb you like. Mint is especially good in these. We're gonna add some fresh ginger. We've cut up and sliced some ginger. Do we like you, you can squeeze so you, it a little bit, you don't not, have not to. Really? Okay. The one thing I do want to say is you don't want to leave this, the oranges in there for more than two days because right here inside of the orange or any citrus, this white that you see right here, that's called the pith. And the pith gets a little bit bitter after a while. So I don't think a gallon of water is going to last too long in your house. So this is a great like thing anyway. for the kids to build. You can do it with strawberries. We've been doing a lot here with pineapple water, you know, because those new waters that are out on the market hint and things like that. Oh, she, Sabina loves them, the water. Oh, they are, but they're, they're a dollar good. a jar. No kidding. We're going to build a gallon. They are for so what you expensive. Would, you, a whole gallon for about a dollar versus paying a dollar for 16 ounces. Now we have to put in a juice box and you've got to, like, you've got to there we go. Well, you know, our kids actually have their own infusers that they I take to school it. with them. I love it. Yeah, put and as then, much or as little. Ginger is really a little bit bitey. So if you like, it can be a little bit hot, but I love ginger. I love it, too. especially if you're juicing and you need to do like beet and carrot and ginger together. That's all really, it's really fun. Really good for your liver. So let this sit for about four to six hours, put it in your refrigerator, bring it out, and you're ready to drink. And we're going to drink that with our salads at the end. I love it, Mark. All right, keeping us healthy and uh, bringing us some, some fresh some, colors uh, for spring. Spring is just such an amazing season. I'm looking so forward to it. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see what you create next. Speaking of creating, Penguin City Brewing is doing uh, bigger and better things. They're expanding. So our Sean Posey caught up with the owners to find out what was next on their agenda. Aspasia, thanks so much for being with us on Valley Spotlight today. You're having an open house today. Um, what would you like to accomplish today? Uh, today we wanted to have an open house for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was that Youngstown Flea was happening and we wanted to kind of show that this is a new entertainment district and plus we're going to be starting construction um, in a couple weeks so we wanted people to get one last look of the warehouse in case people wanted to photograph it or take pictures of it before, uh, before we have like the reveal of what it's going to look like. How is acquiring this warehouse, how is this going to help you with your expansion? What would you like to accomplish with that? Um, well, we definitely needed a place to keep up with the demand uh, for us to be able to go into other markets. Uh, and this warehouse we're able to grow into. So as we grow, as we move into West Virginia, Pennsylvania, we can just keep adding more takes and it could just accommodate us without having to worry about doing an expansion. 
So this is, for people who don't know, this is a historic site. And you're kind of combining old and new Youngstown here. Could you tell us a little bit about the site and why you chose it? Uh, I wanted, well definitely we wanted to be in downtown, but uh, with Penguin City and being like production manufacturing, we couldn't really be in the heart of downtown. So being off the side where industrial warehouses are is perfect because it's right by the highway, but we're also close to the entertainment district. So it kind of worked out being there. And then historically, yeah, it's good to, you know, take a building that's just been sitting and restoring it and, you know, making something thing of it. For our viewers who aren't familiar with your brand, could you tell us a little bit about the origins and evolution of Penguin City Beer? Uh, Penguin City Beer started uh, my husband and I. Uh, we came up with the concept in 2017. Uh, we released our first batch in 2018. Uh, we're in for over 400 locations. We just uh, started distributing in Pennsylvania. Uh, our flagship beer is a crisp golden ale and we also have a light beer. Aspasia, thanks so much for talking with us today and, and good luck with your future endeavors here and, and with your expansion. Thank you. Good job, you guys. I half expected them to throw a couple beers back, but it did may, maybe after the cameras are off. Probably that's what happened. Good job, Sean, thank you. And we're looking forward to greater things from Penguin City. That beer is pretty good. If you haven't had it before, make sure you check it out and support your local businesses. All right, on the other side, uh, we'll take a little break. And Lauren is back with Kelly Warren for Home Advantage. Wait till you see what you can do. She's got all the answers. Be right back. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Treat mom to all of her favorites on Mother's Day with carryout from Rachel's. Call or visit us at rachels3.com to order quarter, half, or full pans of our signature dishes. Plus, individual meals are available for $22 each. Pick up from noon to four on Mother's Day and you're good to go. Wonderful day, Kelly Warren and Associates. Rick Palmer's back with us. Yes. Well, this we're here. To, uh, today, we were talking about the fact that you guys have expanded the business into mortgages. So, congratulations on that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's always a big deal to be able to have one stop shopping under one roof. But for people that are thinking that maybe I'm not selling my house and I'm not going anywhere, there are still things that you need to consider, like what, Kelly? I mean, this is still the time to yes. think about some stuff. Refinances, you, do, you know, we preach all the time about the equity and the interest in your home. So you've been making a mortgage payment every month that you've owned your home, and every month that equity is sitting there like your house is a little bank account for you. Like, yeah. Interest rates have dropped. So, I mean, it's almost like free money to go get a loan right now. Um, so you can refinance at a lower rate, get lower payments, and your house has probably gone up in value. So you've got that equity that you paid and acquired in it, and you've got the equity of the better market. Two wins. So, yes. So yes. you're literally making money while sitting on money. Right. It, no other product does that. You can't buy a boat or a car or a computer and expect it to go up in value and cost you less. Okay. So let's say we're taking some money out of our homes. In your opinion, your expert opinion, what are the kinds of things that people need to be spending that money on in their lives? They, go ahead. They can use it for anything. I mean, you've got a kid in college or you've got a wedding coming up and you want to pay for any of that kind of stuff, great. But if you just want to lower your monthly debt, you can by in lowering your interest rate. So what about you can do the cash out or not. Home improvements? Is that something that of we course. should be reinvesting back into it? Absolutely, yeah. It, they're, they're, like Kelly like said, you could use the money and, that you have in your home for anything. You can put the money back into the home by doing the home improvements. You could put a child through college. You could take that dream vacation. Yeah. Put it in a pool. Anything, anything you want. It's your money. Your home is your investment. And, and you can't take it with you, right? Right. Well, not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people are working on that, but no, no, it's there for you to use. And with rates, like she said, still very, very low, record lows. It, you'd be foolish if you're paying more than four percent mm -hmm. on your mortgage right now, and you plan to be in your home for at least two more years. 
call us and we'll, we'll see if we can save you some money. So if you're paying 4% in your interest rate and you plan to be there for two more years, you still got to make the phone yeah. call, right? It, we're, we're seeing rates at two and a half and lower right now. So I mean, it it's really any kind of rate that you had gotten previously, it's worth it to refinance right now. And you guys are working to make, together to make sure people are pre-approved, pre-qualified, and to qualify for the lowest possible rate. Exactly. All in one place. Yes, and with low origination charges and great rates and great service. Yeah, Kelly, I wish you would have done this about six months ago. I'm gonna be honest, okay? <laughs> just being honest on a personal note. So, nothing to take away from anybody else. It's just a lot of like, a lot of circles and a lot of yeah. hoops, that's all. Lots People of try parts. really hard to make it seamless, but when it's in one spot, I would imagine it's 10,000 times easier. All right, the phone number and the website, very easy. And now there's a link right, right to the mortgage yes. people. I love it. You can call or text 330-717-2689. As always, you can find us online at kellysolda.com. You could hop over to valleyms.com or click on the kellysolda.com link for buyers and pre-approvals and find them right there. Man, this might be the time for us to launch our show, Cal. Yay. The big one. I don't know. All right. More to come on that in 2021. 21 is our year. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. I'm very happy for you. Oh, very cool. And uh, I don't know if you've seen on Route 46 in Howland, uh, Kelly's got a brand new office there too. So I'm sure we'll be talking more about that in future episodes. Thank you, Kelly, so much and all that you guys do. Well, imagine my surprise. I was just sitting there at a restaurant when another guy came up to me and said, hey, my name's Case too. I met George Case. He goes by Geo. A lot of you folks know him. Uh, if you're from the downtown Youngstown area, you know his record shop too. It took a little while to get to this point. He's had some ups and downs, but definitely Geo's music is on a high note right now. I'm all over the board, but uh, so like as much as you might hop into my car and hear Pink Floyd and the Eagles, you might get in there another day, hear Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. or Zap. To say music has always been in Geo Case's life would be an understatement. It is his life, ever since he can remember. When I was five, six years old and I went into kindergarten, a uh, third grade teacher grabbed a hold of me and said, Jesus, kid can really sing. <laughs> Same thing happened in third grade when he sang with the sixth graders, and in seventh grade when he sang with the high school kids. Gio loved music. So I grew up drawing, painting, sculpting, playing sports, working our butts off, whether it was on a farm that my grandpa owned or mm -hmm. just at home, and uh, but music was always there but it was baseball and youngstown state that brought him to the valley go there get hurt get hurt get hurt get hurt mess up in school get hurt uh -huh. mess up in school some more <laughs> <laughs> okay so the baseball career didn't work out but music kept him going and kept him here in town you just pick that up along the way i guess right i don't read music per se so you just play it but i write it and many of you have heard it his band, GOC and The Storm, is a staple here in the community. In fact, they were the first band to open up the amphitheater in downtown Youngstown. And when he's not on stage, you'll find him here, almost across the street from the old Vindicator building, at GEO's Music and More. I said, well, I have all this music, CDs, tapes, records. Mm -hmm. I said, I might as well just do something with it. And so I did. It was two reasons. One, my love for music, and that I knew that I knew so much about the genres that uh, I'd be able to communicate this and possibly make a living doing this. Mm -hmm. Something that I love, which you don't often get to do something you love for a living. Inside, Geo is literally surrounded by music. We have about 40,000 records at any given time. And that's and then, just the records? Yes, LPs. Okay. And then if you break it down to 45s, I don't know, innumerable amount. Add in about 30,000 CDs and movies, and you wonder how he does it. We honestly get people, we've been doing this 25 years, so we get people calling just about every day. Then, you know, you bring them down, you're overloaded, and you just, you just go, good Lord, what a mess. And then you honestly just try to get through them 
uh, look them over condition wise, price them accordingly, get them out, uh, make back stock, uh, just almost like anywhere else, except uh, you get a little overloaded in, in this, uh, but it's fun. It can be taxing sometimes, but it's fun. If you can't find it here, it must be impossible to find anywhere. Everything from new to used and some valuable ones as well. Right now it's not for sale, uh, but if I were gonna sell it, it'd sell for right around 200. It's uh, Kiss Alive 4, mm -hmm. the original pressing sealed with the, I believe it's the Melbourne Symphony. I have an original James Brown up there that goes for somewhere around 100 and it's a first pressing James Brown with the cellophane still on it with I Feel Good and all that on it. And the way the market is trending, these records are spinning right out the door. It's it's nice. Uh, I've even starting to, started to see a resurgence in the uh, compact discs uh, because people, for a long time, they've made disposable music. Mm -hmm. They've made it disposable in the format that here it's on your computer, it's on your phone, it's on your... And much of the fan base sees music as disposable, but mm -hmm. there are people who covet an artist, uh, their work, and want to have the physical piece, and that's where we come in. And uh, I've noticed the uptick, I think, due to that. So Gia will be here in Youngstown, whether it's on stage with his band or behind a stack of record albums. His hard work has paved the way for something special in his life. I worked three jobs to get this and slept on the floor for a time to get to this point. Mm -hmm. But at least if you know that your goal is to be able to do something that you actually enjoy, that you're not going home every night thinking, wow, this is the end of my day. I'm so happy it's over. Instead, you get to say, this is what I love and you get to enjoy life. You get to do this and you get to run a record store and you get to usually at least make people happy. I would say, that, you know, they don't know all the work that's behind it and the struggle, but in the end, I would say that's a pretty fulfilling life. Thank you, Gio. Pleasure meeting you. No relation, but it sure was a lot of fun, that's for sure. Make sure you check out his music shop if you like records and movies and things like that. He's got every single one. It's right there in downtown Youngstown, kind of across the street from the uh, Vindicator building on, I think that's Federal Street, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I used to work there. Boardman Street. Gosh, I should know these things. All right, when we come back, uh, we're going to check in on Lauren and Mark as they put uh, some spring and summer salads together. You're watching Valley Spotlight. We're at Jacked Steakhouse in downtown Warren. Back with more after this. And it really all started with salt, with Himalayan sea salt. That's where it all started because of a patient who came in and told me about the benefits of salt therapy, which is inhaling uh, Himalayan sea salt, an aerosolized Himalayan sea salt. And I found that my patients were having fantastic results using salt therapy. And I wanted to know how could I incorporate the Himalayan sea salt into products that would benefit the sinuses and the skin. And that's where Salt Me was born. Bistro 1907 is a classic yet unique American bistro. This space lets us immerse ourselves in history. The dishes are inspired by our past but have a modern twist. Bistro 1907 by Mark Canzanetta is unlike any place else. Find out why. I'm Mark Canzanetta, and I welcome you to Bistro 1907. make some dressings because the salad looks amazing it's, it's waiting to be dressed it really is it's waiting to be dressed you know what I, when I when we do salads whether it's at the bistro or we do them here or any of the other restaurants we've been a part of 
when you, when you go out to eat, you, so many often times you get dressing like glopped all over everything. Lettuce doesn't want that. Lettuce just wants to be lightly dressed. You know, it's a delicate thing. You don't want to overdress it. You don't want to wilt it, especially when we get to a mayo-based dressing lettuce over there. Tell you so, about lettuce. but we really want to have light dressings. It's supposed to accent the lettuce right. and bring out some flavor, not be a soup. Well, your vinaigrette, I have to say, people ask me all the time. They're like, "What does he put on there? What well, is he putting on there?" It's right here. We're making the bistro Finally. house dressing right here. It's right here. So, okay. This is a vinaigrette. So all we're right. gonna emulsify it vinaigrette because. Oil and liquid don't like to go together so much. You know, no, like fire don't. and water. They just don't mix. Men so, and women. A, a lot of people do or don't know that mustard is an emulsifier. So we're going to use this mustard as an emulsifier. That's going to bring everything together and it's going to keep it together. So we're going to do that. We're going to add our beautiful apple cider vinegar. Okay. Some fresh parsley. Am I helping you? Just monitoring you? Yeah, sure. You? Sure. Yeah. You, can put a, you can put that lemon juice. All right. I'll put a pinch of salt. Nice pinch of salt because you always want to season your... You put the scallions in. All of them? All of them this time. We're not making Rangoon this time. Okay? Dumb. All right. So there we typically go. dressings are built vinaigrettes are built one third of vinegar and two parts of olive oil. But I'm gonna sweeten this up a little bit. God, I love honey. Hey, we, we have know. a bee guy. We have a bee guy. That bee Mike, guy. The, Mike He's the bee really guy. A good bee guy. Yeah, he, he really is. And so we have this great honey from him, and it is just this goldenrod honey is amazing. We're gonna add a little bit of this goldenrod to counteract, you know, we want that unami thing going on, sweet, salty, savory All kind of thing things. going on. So now it's your turn. Okay. Whisk away. This Slow, is steady stream. Right. You wanna whisk? And just a slow, steady stream, just like that. There you go. You're doing great. Oh, look at that! We <laughs> finally got a good job for Mark Hansen. And Sabina would uh, Sabina would be okay, proud. Okay, you can of drop me. the angle of that right. bowl now. You're good. fine. No, right. you got to keep oh, stirring I have to though. Keep going. All right. I don't know. <laughs> That's I'm fine. Trying to mess it up. No, keep going. We have to add a little bit more oil. You can either do a figure eight. You can go in circles like you're doing right now. You just want to make sure you get it all together and it stays emulsified. Now, if you want to cheat, you can do this in a blender. It's going to break up the whole grain mustard a little bit, or you can do it in a food processor. I We're about like there. We you see how it's more. starting to get some viscosity to it, some texture? I would, okay. um, I think a Lauren Cam is necessary. Okay, right so let's give that a taste. Hey, my gosh. Mark, that was easy, amazing. wasn't it? Now, you can use extra virgin olive oil, and I like to use extra virgin olive oil. You can do some oil, some oils that don't have as much flavor, canola, grapeseed, whatever your dietary needs are. Give that a little taste. Mm. That's really? fantastic. Okay. All right. All right, let's move Perfect. on. We're All moving. Right. That actually tastes like your restaurant. I would hope so. That's what All we right. do. This next one we're doing, Ooh, that's very, we're going to make a low-fat version of this, a low-calorie oh. version of this. We're going to substitute three-fourths of the oil for vegetable stock. Okay. We're going to thicken that with a product called xanthan gum. You can get this at grocery stores now, some retailers, and of course, you know our big box in the sky that delivers to everybody's house every day now. I know. Okay, so we're gonna add the vegetable stock. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. Am I supposed to rinse this off? You can just throw it in the back sink. Okay, a little bit of garlic, because I love garlic in my Italian vinaigrettes. I really do. And you can add some salt. We're gonna add some overnight tomatoes to give it some flavor, depth of flavor from those tomatoes. And xanthan gum, is a commercial thickening agent. You can use it hot, you can use it cold. It's gonna stabilize things, it's gonna keep the emulsion going. It's gonna keep everything together. So you have to do it, you do it while it's moving? Yes, then? so okay. one teaspoon can thicken one cup of liquid. Liquid. So we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of this, and you can whisk that together now. Okay, perfect. If you can bring my olive oil back oh, right over I, there. I moved it, I shouldn't <laughs> That's have. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. And now we are gonna just use one, one quarter of the amount of olive oil in this. And you're gonna see after a few minutes that's gonna thicken together. Now you can do anything in this. You could put fresh parsley, fresh basil, fresh oregano, mint, whatever kind of flavor profile you oh like from goodness, herbs. Does that smell good? Doesn't that smell great? Wow. Did we put pepper in it yet? I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna put some pepper in it. I'll, I'll stir while you do the okay. pepper. And as many turns or as not turns as you like. Like when I write recipes, I put like five or six turns. That means you go around the loop five or six times. Okay? I like to go around the loop at least like 11 times. Uh, okay, 11 times is good. you know what, five or six times is You see how that's thickening up? <laughs> and that is all from the xanthan gum. A little bit goes a long way, and it looks like a thick vinaigrette. Yes, it does. It does. It's actually perfect. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna make the ranch dressing. This ranch dressing that we have at Bistro, everybody absolutely adores and loves. People say things that are like, they have the ability to like, 
the, they would drink and this. And it's easy. You should put it in a to-go it should container be drinkable. and just like. So we are going to add gonna move some, you down here, Mark, so that way some heavy-duty mayonnaise. Keep track of you. Okay, we're going to add some heavy-duty mayonnaise. And use your favorite brand. I, I would not uh, do the one that's more like salad dressing, which is my mom's favorite, but we're not going to mention that brand. Uh, some sour cream. You could use light sour cream if you want to. Uh, reduce your calories and you can use light mayonnaise if you wanted okay. to to reduce your calories. Buttermilk, got to have the buttermilk because it has that acid in it and it really brings out the flavors of everything. So I'm going to have you slowly start to whisk that together because if you go too crazy too fast it's going to be everywhere and we don't want that. We are going to add a couple of different, we're going to add granulated onion. We're going to add granulated garlic. Some paprika. I feel like everybody around us is like watching me do this. They are watching they're, me they're do they're it. They're making my Fresh me. dill is the killer for this. And a me. little bit of sugar, okay? And I used a little bit of sugar in the raw. I really like that. And we're gonna add a nice pinch of salt. Because you really wanna season, again, you wanna season your dressings pretty well. Oh and at the end, we're gonna season that with a little bit of pepper. And now you can get a little bit more, more happy. You can All get right. a little bit more aggressive. Why don't you give me the pepper over there? Thanks. Start adding some pepper. All right. Maybe you just want to, right? Yeah, right, as peppery or as non-peppery as you want. All right. And I think that looks great. I'm going to give it a little finger taste. Ranch dressing. Fantastic. Isn't that great? That will get any kid to eat any carrot, any well, piece of celery, anything. They will. Just I mean, the kids after there. school, they really like sliced cucumbers. They love sliced carrots, it's celery. so good. You know, and that's a everything. great dip for them. And of course, for their chicken tenders. You know, and what we're Can't doing is here, when we're so making great. our own dressings at home, we're controlling what goes inside of it. We're controlling the ingredients. We're controlling all. We don't have any of those things that they put in there. All the big companies put in there. Right. You know, when you read the ingredient list, when you read the ingredient list for this ranch dressing, it's what seven ingredients. It's pretty simple. Go yeah. look at his website, beastrain1907.com, for all of these recipes. Uh, please go make them and make your spring salads that much fresher. And we'll be back yeah. with our finished product in just a few minutes. Well, 72 years is a long time for anyone. Um, it used to be that you were old at 72, but not anymore. Um, you know, we're just coming into a, a new age of regrowth for Ducat, and we're very proud to have been uh, supporting the Valley and all of our customers for 72 years. It is. It's a true testament to our customers having the faith that they have had in us for 72 years. So let yourself go to do cut. Let yourself go to do cut. Heels is the low cost living anti inflation department store. Shop Hills in the Liberty, Lincoln Dolls, and Boardman Plaza, Youngstown, and the Ridgeview Plaza in Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all open 10 till 10 daily. I'm Barbara Corcoran. I'm constantly asked by news sources how to best navigate today's real estate market. I call the brightest agents in the business to get their input. Hi Kelly, what's going on in the Mahoney Valley area? Hi Barbara, the market in the Mahoney Valley has remained strong. I'm so happy to hear that. Sellers are enjoying the safety of the Guaranteed Sold program, and buyers and sellers love the 3D tour and the free moving truck. Get the best advice from my friend Kelly Warren. Go to kellysoldit.com. Be safe and smart. Our customers are always part of the equation of everything we try to do. We don't have a Hillcrest label that we're trying to push on you. We don't have stockholders we're trying to make profit for. There's no out-of-state corporate office. The competitive advantage for Hillcrest over our national competition really is sustainable pricing, number one, the service, and caring about what the customer needs, not our agenda. It's tough to get off course when that's your focus. Dressings, they all look amazing. Aren't they fantastic? I would put them all on one salad. How hard were those? Not really? hard at all. And, and if you don't want to whisk, you could take a mason jar and shake it up. You can whisk. You can whisk. If I can do it, anybody okay. can do it. So again, we have, you know, Green City Growers, this beautiful, this is one of my favorites. We use the bib at the restaurant, but I wanted to use this here just to show this Cleveland crisp hybrid lettuce between romaine and iceberg, and it's just such a great crunch 
So we're gonna build our best selling salad at Bistro, oh, which is the Cobb salad. All right. So we have our, our, our oven roasted beets. You can use pickled beets, whatever kind of beets you want to. So you can delicious. You could put this into sections if you want to, or you could just randomly do it. We're gonna have our cherry wood smoked turkey breast that we have at the restaurant. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I'm gonna eat that one, don't. You eat it, go ahead, go ahead. And then our famous bacon lardons. I mean, we use lardons, I've been using lardons for a long time in my career, but big chunks of smoky bacon in there wonderfully. I mean, this is like a full meal. I know people are saying- Our, like, our salads like are salad, like meals. They're like, entree size salads, is... they're plenty, they're plenty to share. Um, avocado, you know, avocados, you know, because of the onset of, you know, yuppies and everybody, the avocado toast. It has driven the price of avocados through the roof. They're about a dollar a piece now. You know what? So, they're worth but they're it, so Mark. they're so worth it. You know, it's like nature's own oil. I mean, they really the avocado oil. It's so healthy for you. It's a good way to start the day. It's like you know, butter, but not. Yeah, you're gonna start. Yeah, it's some sorry, hard boiled eggs as well. You said they were so expensive. I can't waste them. Ah, uh, that's okay. All right. All right. We'll go back. Go back. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. And you can use hard boiled eggs, you can use pickled eggs, whatever kind of eggs you want to use, as many or as, as few as you like. We're going to have some white cheddar. I love the white cheddar to go along with this. And then some great tomatoes because great tomatoes are just fantastic. You know, we got the summer growing season coming too. up and I so look forward to it. Last year we had a little bit of rain in the valley, so this year I'm looking forward to it not being as rainy. Well, it's a beautiful rainy day today. I know, it is a beautiful rainy All day right. today. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just gonna make that gorgeous vinaigrette you made, and we're just gonna gently dress that. I don't I hope I didn't dress your finger. That's okay. Perfect. Doesn't how how good does that look and how better does that than smell? any nail polish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean this just looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys, how about this? This yeah. is fantastic. So you have your salad there. I am just having, you know, when you just want something simple. A light little salad. You just have some beautiful greens. We have some red oak, some green oak here. We have that beautiful low calorie. Look at the viscosity though. You can't tell that that was made with vegetable stock instead of olive oil. Oh, yeah. Three fourths vegetable stock. It's really beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so we got those beautiful overnight tomatoes in there, which is going to actually, you know, serve as some of the garnish for the, the salad. But look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely fantastic. Now the ranch dressing again. Ranch dressing goes great on any salad. We're gonna have a bite of the salad. I, I can't wait to taste this detox water. I was gonna say, this is really, a, a, first of all, a beautiful conversation piece and it very, is. very healthy, so cheers to you. And it's very interactive with your family and the kids to build it because you can put apples, you could use watermelon, berries, isn't that great? Oh, it's really picking good. Picking up the ginger, you're that picking up the water, They yeah. don't have anything on you. Here's a hint. <laughs> and we're saving a lot of money. Nothing against right. hint water. I know they delivered no, to your door. Good job. I and we're actually advertising for them right now. Please send a free case, thank you. We love it. My wife loves it. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers to some great salads. And cheers to the spring season and uh, another great year with you. And right. Absolutely. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna this, I'm going this for a piece of turkey. Avocado if you don't Go mind. for it. All right. Everybody, we look forward to another Test Kitchen episode. Cheers. Cheers. This is so good. Aha, uh -huh, good job, guys. See what we do? We put the show on at 4 o'clock. You watch this. You get hungry. Mom cooks. And you're ready to go, right? Or you go out to eat. That's not too, ba too bad either. So, uh, all right, we will be back here on Valley Spotlight after this break. When we come back, Lauren's going to check in on a cool shop in Poland. Be right back. Be sure to join us on Saturday, May 22nd at the Robbins Theater for Stories from the Corner, a night with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Ray will be sharing many of his boxing memories, Hollywood tales, and so much more. For tickets, visit robbinstheater.com. Stories from the Corner, a night with Ray Boom Boom Mancini, only at the Robbins Theater in downtown Warren. Papa Canzanetta's Peppers, recipe established in 1975. A family secret is now yours to share with the people who add spice to your life. Choose from mild and hot versions, plus our famous original blend too. They're the perfect punch for any dish, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've got the recipes to prove it. Just follow us on Facebook, order online at papacans.com and pick your peck. Papacans.com, order six jars or more and qualify for free shipping. We like it hot, we're glad you do too. A to Z Dependable Services now offers walk-in tubs and showers in as little as one day. Let us create a safer bathing experience in your bathroom or the shower of your dreams. Call A to Z Dependable Services today for a free estimate or visit us online at onlyatoz.com. Salt Me as a company. 
that produces products that are made out of Himalayan sea salt. I have a love affair with Himalayan sea salt. And as an ear, nose, and throat doctor, the most important thing for me is that the products are gonna be effective and that they're gonna be safe for patients. So I make products that help sinus conditions and I make products that are going to be good for the skin and good for the body. And all of them are made of Himalayan sea salt. Welcome back to Valley Spotlight here at Jacked Steakhouse in downtown Warren. If you like a really cool historic building and the story behind it and some great food, this place is great and perfect for you. Open Tuesday through Saturday. They're closed on Sunday and Monday. All right, a lot of us are getting the short sleeves out and getting ready for summertime. What a great place to go, Lauren found, to get your spring and summer apparel. Take it away, Lauren. The Pakura Style Studio from the outside looks unassuming, but as you walk in the door, the assumption can be made that this place is special. Very New York, just a different vibe, New York, LA. Something where you would come in and you would know you were gonna discover something really cool and have a lot of fun. Every fiber, every surface, and every woman will notice this woman's attention to every detail. I didn't wanna say boutique and I didn't wanna say salon because we were just so different from a regular boutique and a regular salon. So I went with studio and a studio is where artists you know, come together and it's just a hyper creative space where we have a lot of fun. We do everything fashion, makeup, hair, photography, just giving it all for the customer to really have something really cool and find something really special. Melinda Holtzman's vision has come into focus on fashion in a very clear way. At Pacura Style Studio, each designer has been carefully curated. She features clothing lines that are anything but typical from all over the world. And the space itself took her whole world to bring it to life. She and her husband designed and built her vision side by side. I wanted to have a very like mansion-y kind of feel that was eclectic and he, I mean this used to be a dentist's office, so he completely transformed it for me to exactly what I want. So we did the whole design process together. We, my kids were very much involved in it as well, you know, they helped demo things. And the clothing that gets the most attention was designed and created by Melinda. At the age of 35, she is still focused on what she was born to do. In high school, when it came time to go homecoming dress shopping, I was always like, I didn't want to have the same thing as everyone else. So I started making my own dresses. And that's where I really realized that my style and my taste was kind of like outside of the box. I was looking at red carpet, runway looks, and different things like that. And I just wanted something really different and mature and sophisticated. And so that's how my line really kind of came into play is, um, you know, I wanted to create something that was sophisticated and timeless yet unique, um, just something that you don't find every day. The out of the box thinking didn't stop with her handmade clothing designs. She considers the entire look from start to finish. Hair, makeup, and photography are all part of the process. The Pakira Style Studio Instagram page highlights their creative consistency. It's just in my nature to really like do the whole thing. So to have the stylist here, to have everything, you know, all in one space and be able to just like walk out the door completely ready is so fun and it's so great. Michael Katsuris is a renowned hairstylist that has made a name for himself locally, and that name has carried him to New York City. He shares his time between Pakura and Manhattan. It's all part of bringing talented people together to make a statement. And the statement pieces go beyond the display. Melinda now offers custom designs for anyone looking to feel their best in something that was made just for them. I have like my line and we, you know, produce multiple pieces of it, but then there's the custom aspect of it for somebody who maybe has a difficult time with fit or um, you know they just can never find what they're looking for custom is such a good way to go and it's easier and it's more affordable than you would think oh 
looks really good. If you're in the Poland area, it is a must stop, that's for sure. All right, a couple of updates for you. First of all, our friend Bobby Ocean, remember? Country Western singer, big things are going on with him. So instead of me telling you the surprise, I thought I would just let him spill it. Well, we have our, our new video, She Was My Girl, just was released uh, a week ago. And uh, we're really excited about that. Some big things on the horizon. It's going to be on CMT and TCN next month. Yeah. And uh, we're super excited about that. The first week it has over 50,000 views already on YouTube. So excited about that. Tell me about the video. How, how hard is it to shoot a video like that? And, and then, you know, you want it to come out and you want it to be perfect when people see it. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit nervous with it at first. Looking back. At this old town, memories of the time we shared and the love we found. Church Sunday. Uh, but our producer down there in Nashville, uh, uh, she, you know, she did a really good job uh, making it easy for us um, and telling us what to do and where to stand and what to say. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. the next thing going on with the Bobby Ocean and his band? Uh, well, we just uh, uh, signed with PCG Management um, uh, yesterday and uh, definitely uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, it's a promotional company that goes along with uh, a label down there that helps us uh, to get further like on shows and festivals this summer, some bigger shows, mm -hmm. um, you know, like getting on with the bigger names throughout the summer and touring. Do you think you'll be touring this summer? I hope so, yes, yes. Sounds fun. We have, yeah, we have shows booked right now, but it'd be nice to get some you know, really good shows and that, so yeah. Can you believe this is all kind of coming together? Uh, yes, but uh, sometimes I had to sit back and really look and, you know, sometimes it seems like it's just everything came really fast all of a sudden. Uh -huh. She was my girl. Good job, Bobby, and good luck. Keep us posted, okay? And one more update for you. You remember our friend Kristen Fox, who we did a story on? Remember she had the, um, the uh, arms and legs, mechanical arms and legs? Well, guess what? Her story has been so powerful, she has now been asked to be the commencement speaker at this year's graduation at Youngstown State. I just think that is awesome. I wish I could go to that speech and hear it for myself because there's no more inspirational person out there. Congratulations, Kristen and YSU, a fantastic choice. I think we made a fantastic choice today coming out to Jack in, uh, in downtown Warren. I don't know what to eat first. I know you're going to recommend the lamb, right, Mike? Oh, absolutely. Mike Theodore, the uh, the main chef and uh, general manager here and all sorts of other different titles and things like that. And, and we just want to get across that even though the steaks are delightful, you like some of the other stuff on the menu almost as much, maybe a little bit more? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Go ahead. You know, um, Tuscan lamb rack, that actually originated from my sister for her wedding. We kind of created it by mistake. <laughs> um, some of the best things are made yeah, by mistake, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the shrimp at souffle. That's a down-home Louisiana classic, you know. I mean and that. I mean I that. absolutely recommend that one. Very cool. If you don't know the specials here, Tex-Mex Tuesday, $5 steak burgers on Wednesday. The happy hour is what? Tuesday through Saturday from 3 to 6 p.m. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun here. Yes. Very cool. And I saw that the patio is open, and I think a lot of people still aren't great about eating inside, and it's outside, maybe just enjoy the weather a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's beautiful down here on Courthouse Square. Mm -hmm. Set and, you know, watch the park and, you know, enjoy dinner, uh, drinks. Uh, we also have... Um, on Saturdays, we offer a brunch. Oh, go on. And bottomless uh, mimosas, bellinis, screwdrivers, Bloody Marys. It's a uh, 
It's a great way to start the weekend. You had me at bottomless. Yes. Honestly. <laughs> what time's brunch start? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. See, mm -hmm. there you go. Just like uh, the hours during the week. All right. JackedSteakhouse.com. You can go there, peruse the menu if you like, or you can do some ordering too, right? Yes. You can order online uh, for pickup. You can adjust your pickup times. Uh, everything will be bagged up and ready for you when you arrive. And we would re be remiss if we didn't say that you guys are partners with Steel Light. Yes, all of our dishes and glasses and silverware came from Steel Light in yeah. Youngstown. We want to thank you for uh, mm -hmm. your partnership with us, Steel Light. Thank you very much. All right, if you'd like to learn more about the show or if you'd like to see certain segments from the past, you can do so. We have a Roku channel out there. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And I think the best place to go is our website, valleyspotlight.com. Do you remember record players? Do you remember records? Are we old enough? Are we all yes. old enough yeah. to yeah. know about records? Well, you can buy, you used to be able to buy them at Woolworths, which was a department mm -hmm. store here mm -hmm. in town. So that's our retro commercial for this week. Uh, we'll say goodbye here from Jack's Steakhouse. Have a great Sunday, everybody. See you next time on Valley Spotlight. It's Woolworths Stereo Spectacular 71, a fantastic once a year sale of albums, LPs, tapes, everything in stereo, unbelievably low priced. Woolworths Stereo Spectacular has top stereo LPs, the biggest hits just off the charts for only $1.57. Famous labels, favorite stars, Herb Alpert, Petula Clark, The Association, Canned Heat, many more for only $1.57. And another fabulous group of LPs on sale for just 87 cents. Jack Jones, The Beach Boys, Guess Who, and more. And for children, the original cast album of Sesame Street, only 87 cents. Woolworth Stereo Spectacular has big savings on eight-track stereo cartridges. Dionne Warwick, Lou Rawls, Glenn Campbell, Blind Faith, many more for only $2.99. Supplies are limited, so hurry over and save during Woolworth Stereo Spectacular 71. Thank you for shopping Woolworth. It's the fun place to shop. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.